SEC in all three categories. That goes back to the days that the SEC began tracking assists per game way back in 1968 and 69. Uh, there's a very good reason that Ben Simmons is the name you're likely going to hear called first this June at the NBA draft. And with that, we say welcome to Sports Center. It's officially the lunch hour, noon in the East, with Jake Crawford. I'm Sarah Walsh, and we've got Ben Simmons with us. Yes, we do. It's fun to watch, loaded with talent, unlimited upside for his future. Saturday night on ESPN, you're going to get to see him face off with another of college basketball's top talents in Oklahoma's Buddy Heald. So we welcome to Sports Center. Ben Simmons. Ben, good to have you on. Uh, it's been very fun to watch you. Congratulations on a terrific start to your collegiate career. I'm wondering what it is like these days to be Ben Simmons on the LSU campus. It's uh, it, it's a lot different. Um, I think just walking across and, and things like that or just getting a meal from you know, Subway or whatever it is or just pumping gas. Um, you know, everyone kind of recognizes you around campus, but it's it's cool and humbling experience for me. Yeah, it's definitely hard to blend in when you're your size and you're everywhere, all over ESPN. We had LSU running back Leonard Fournette on. This was during football season, and we asked him who's the bigger star on campus. Was it himself or you? And I don't know if he was being humble or he was telling us the truth, but he said, oh, easily it's, it's Ben Simmons. Is he telling the truth? I still think it's him. You know, everyone has his jersey um, walking around, you know, the number seven Fournette on his back. Uh, it, it's kind of crazy for him because, you know, every time I'm on social media, I see something uh, like students just posting pictures with him uh, just walking the bus. So I think it's him. I, I don't know if Fournette has this, though. You have had a documentary crew following you since your senior year of high school. What are your plans with that? Uh, I'll, I'll have to, you know, you'll have to wait and see for that. Um, but I should be coming out soon. Uh, it's, it's been pretty cool, uh, all the points I've gotten so far, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it all. I know you're a big fan of LeBron, and uh, you have his number in your phone. Very few people can say that. Um, can you share with us what your relationship has been like with LeBron, what advice he's given you on managing your career? Well, yeah, he's been like a, a big brother to me. Um, he's, he's looked out for me whenever I needed advice or, you know, just to talk to, uh, you know, certain things. Um, if I'm just like struggling through the day or, or just need some advice, you know, he'll just, just say something, you know, keep me going or, or give me some good advice that I need. Uh, we were told that you have uh, gone through a number of tests this year. What what can you tell us about that? <laughs> about what was that? That you've gone through a number of tests this year. Oh, uh, yeah, we've had, we've had a couple of pets um, in our apartment, uh, lizards, uh, a couple of snakes, but uh, and not too many, some fish. But uh, I think it was one of those things where we were just so bored during uh, the start of the season where nothing was really happening. So, uh, you know, we've settled down on that and, you know, really started to focus on the, uh, on the season. But question for you. So you said lizards and snakes, and then you go on these road trips, so you have to have someone come in and take care of them. So who are you conning into taking care of these snakes for you? Well, the snakes, you know, we had to get rid of those, but uh, the lizards are easy to take care of. It, it's it's really just like you leave some food in there, they're eating it. But um, Keith, Keith Hornsby, his girlfriend Heidi, I'd like to uh, say thank you to you uh, for feeding uh, the lizards. Very nice. She's a lucky girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. One of the perks. We were on your Twitter feed. I guess we were trolling, I guess. that. Pretty much. Dry ramen noodles? Really? Oh, of course. It's, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, I'm in college. Uh, I kind of go out and get these crazy meals, but um, no, it's, one of, those, I, it's one of my favorite treats. It's pretty good. It seems like it would be a little bit easier to just throw them in a, the hot pot, right? I mean, what, what do dry ramen noodles taste like? That just noodles. takes away from the, the chip feeling. Noodles. though. I call them ramen noodles. The ramen noodles, Jay. Well, I'm Clearly you're not eating... Listen, when I was in college, they were called Raymond noodles. That's how they were like. <laughs> the, times, the times have changed. Jay Crawford's got to keep up with us. Hey, we had Buddy Heald on earlier today, and you're playing his Oklahoma team on Saturday. We asked him all about what he sees from you on the film that he's watched. What do you see in Buddy Heald's game? Um, he's, he's a tremendous scorer. He can you know, get to the rim. He can, he can dish the ball. He hit threes. Um, he's just really consistent. He's one of those guys you have to really focus on. Uh, when playing a team like this, but uh, you know they have a lot of great players. Um, me just watching them personally, I've seen um, they're they're a shooting team really, and they can all really shoot the ball well. We've heard uh, from a lot of our experts, when, and it's probably not fair that we do this, but it's it, that's what sports people do. We always like know who does he compare to, who does he remind you of, and it's particularly early on when we hadn't seen a lot of you. We kept hearing. 
Magic Johnson. And, and perhaps that's because you share the basketball, you, you pass the ball very well. Do you pattern your game after anyone, either current or past? And, and, and who do you think is a fair comparison? Uh, I don't really think anybody. It, it's really hard to compare me to one of the greatest point, point forwards in the game, uh, Magic Johnson. You know, he's, he's done a lot uh, for the game. He's one of the best players to ever play. And for him, it's not fair because he's, you know, I'm still in college. I'm still playing. Um, you know, I, I try and uh, learn things from them, whether it's LeBron or, or Paul George or Kevin Durant and, and Magic just watch film on them. But, uh, you know, I don't think it's fair to them to, you know, compare me because uh, I, I feel like I have my own game. Ben, what's been the best part of your experience in Baton Rouge this year? I think just uh, just being in college and enjoying the experience. Um, it's, it's a lot different to high school, and being from Australia, it's a, it's a real eye-opener uh, for someone like me to come over here and you know, just be in college. We asked Buddy when he was on what was the biggest difference from the Bahamas to Norman, Oklahoma. So what's the biggest difference from Australia to Baton Rouge? <laughs> Everything. Uh, from food to people. Uh, you know, LSU is everywhere around here. Um, from here to New Orleans, you know, people support LSU. So it's it's a big community, but, uh, you know, I'm loving it down here. Are you taking to the Cajun food? Definitely. I have some uh, some Cajun food. It's a bit different, but uh, no, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it definitely is a bit different. Hey, I, I know you've been asked about this only a million times. Um, your future is extremely bright. Most folks uh, expect that you'll be playing in the NBA next year at this time. How will you go about making that decision? Uh, well, you know, I got to finish this season first, and I got a few classes I need to finish too. So make sure I get my good, uh, the grades and, and focus on that first. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, good answer. Hey, Ben, when's the last time you heard someone call it Raymond Noodles? <laughs> That's the first time I've heard someone. <laughs> Love it. First time. If anybody? Any? No, you're literally okay, the only one. it's an Ohio thing. I've always called them Raymond noodles. I don't think so. You're on he probably, out, ben, or ben, ben probably didn't even know what you were talking about. He, he was probably the, he like, Raymond question. noodles. We don't know what that is. <laughs> I, I got through college on ramen noodles, but I cook mine. <laughs> I'm in the hot pot. Yeah, you have to cook them. Yeah, and it's the only thing I can cook. Hey, Ben, best of luck the rest of the season. You've been so much fun for us to watch. It's been an awesome ride for you and a very big game coming up on Saturday. Yeah. So good luck, good luck to you and those Tigers, and thanks for being with us here on Sports Center. And, and make sure the lizards are fed. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Even ramen noodles.